Hello people, this is Eric Cobra. And Rana Naraja. And this is Let's Play Data and Blind. Now it seems like the people have got this part of the laboratory up and running again. As you might remember, this was last time on the Siege by Undead and we had to clear the wing out. But it seems like they got it under control now and are now using it again. Which means there's quests in here now. I need you to go back out there. Of course. Now let's have what. Ooh, wait, I didn't pick this apart. I've been picking stuff apart and taking everything not nailed down We're for the last couple of minutes. potassium sulfate, and its use is crucial to our research. Can you get me that chemical from the warehouse? Yes. Do be careful with it. Well, of course, it's ammonium potassium chlorophate. You don't mess around with that stuff. I'm not even sure if that. What exactly is that? No idea. I'm not, I'm not even sure if I remember it correctly. Whatever it was, but we're supposed to get it. So yeah. All right. Okay. First, pick apart I everything. Help with the research we're conducting. That's nice. Okay. That's nothing more in here. Okay. We can't really tell whether the drugs actually help the infected. Transformation takes place so quickly; it's impossible to take a proper sample. John and Nick agreed to test the drugs on themselves, but we don't have the results yet. Yeah. That All right. is ill. We managed to lock a few of the infected in the stock room. You need to draw the sample from their muscle tissue. But hurry, if they mutate any further, it'll be too late. Rotting flesh. Okay, so let me just check my map and see what is easiest to do. Let's see. I have to go up here. Okay. Well, since this sounds kind of like something that needs to be hurried up with, not really, of course. Uh, it's probably not timed being a side quest and all, but still, I think we should do this one first. Hmm. Also a good opportunity to test out our new Wakisakis, or however that's pronounced. Yeah, I know we have these cool new samurai blades. That you were practically I'm... salviating all last time. <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, and I still am. Hmm. But it, I just got a really interesting idea. What if you could mount maybe for say a bayonetta on this AK rifle and in case anyone up there knows about their story did they have uh, bayonettas on these rifles? I think I recall that from somewhere. I'm not sure if they had an AK-47 but I won't you know make any claims I'm not sure. Hmm. But this is still declared Thus far in Dead Island, the most badass rifle I have ever handled. Okay, let's see if I can get up here without driving a car or another cliff. Ow! Yeah. Should we make a rule, do not drive while you are trying to take out the glass? Oh god! Great! You landed on a butcher. I'm sure that's going to be okay. Ow, 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 ow. I know okay, I hate this. Out and chop. But... While well, they're still down. Excuse me. Excuse me. Roman? Whoa. Cut them down. Oh, no, they don't. Let us make these zombies perma dead. Like the Japanese thunder gods we resemble now. <laughs> sure. All right. They're in here. Doors. No, okay. Let me check if I can drop in from the roof. Stay at the door, but don't enter. No worries. Oh, there's a zombie here. A lone zombie. No worries. I will take care of him. There's also a zombie up on the roof. I'm taking care of him. He tried to ambush me, but I kicked him while he was down. Oh, there's a mud up here. Oh, um, I am coming up. We're taking a look. Okay. Governor. Let us see, let us see. Yes, I need these, thank you. And a shredder. No clue, but... If that is something that you can mount on the Vasaki, I am so going to do it. More than one entry point. All right, there are two doors, and we'll flank them. You take okay, the door. I take the. Just tell me when you're ready. Hold on, this one it can just be open. Yeah, so can this one over here. Okay, I'm ready. I, uh... 
Free. On account of, on account of free. Yeah. Three, two, one. Charge! Now that is teamwork when I see them up. Just tell me when you are ready to breach. I am now. Stop breaching. I'm here. I'm here. Put them down. Tissue sample from John and tissue sample from Nick. Thanks, guys. You have done much for science. Oh, holy crap. That was a lot of money. Yeah, there are a lot of money in those safes. Oh, and a fact. Alright, let's read what this one says. This is actually a pretty nice place. It's a shame it got, you know, ravaged by the zombies. Yeah. Also, it's a bit too far from the main camp to be practical to use. Plus, you have to go outside. Always bad. Also, I just wondered, if there is a magazine called Fact, would that mean that there's a, also a magazine called Fiction? Alright. Point. You, that was a good one. But actually, it's all <laughs> excerpts from the Banoi Herald, so I don't know why they call it fact. Okay, let's see. Banoi Herald. In the early 2000s, there were five doctors per 100,000 people in Papua New Guinea, which is the land we're in now. Hmm. That's not many. I mean, many doctors, that is. I am growing less and less confident in these scientists and doctors. Look, imagine if you came from a place like, say, uh, New York or somewhere around where we live and you just come to this uh, tropical paradise that is infected with drooling zombies and you do not really have the education to say anything but HELP! RUN! Well, that's practically who we are playing. Alright, let's get down there. Oh god! Thank you, Home Tree. You saved us from a possible death scenario. Ah! Oh, ho, 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 ho. And, that's, and that's how you get down quickly. How are you feeling? I feel fine. No, no, I do not really. Feel no, no, don't go out of the car yet. Don't go out of the car yet. What are you planning to do? Oh, you're going to play Ram the Zombies. Well, of course. Are you... Oh, so, with uh, so many times that you ran that thing into stuff, you would think that you would mount a snowplow on it. Oh, God. Whoa, you did not like that. You did not like that either. And no, you will not like this. Ow! This time I was prepared. All right. I got him. I got him. Don't worry. Look, you must be the most dangerous thing on this island, not the zombies. And that's something I take pride in. Hmm. Can I try something? Sure. Um, if you can I find something. I just got a. I just had a theory. Okay, now we are talking. Ah, you found out how to use your fury. A bit of a yeah. waste out here, but now you know how to use it, so that's... Yeah, I know. Ah, what the grab. Yeah, that was three bullets too short of it, but... <laughs> you stupid mofo. These zombies are getting annoyingly resistant to my kicks. Well, look on the bright side. At least they are... <laughs> well, they are not so resistant towards your blades. True that. Also, I was using my kukri instead of my wakishaki. Mistake on my part. Also, I looked a bit up on these weapons, and I think, uh, you know the uh, legendary katana that the samurai has? Whoa, fatty! I think they, uh, oh, the oh. Makisaki you distract him, I need to heal up. Oh, okay, I will. No, that was not much of a distraction, he just died. 
And I just ignited him with my... Cool enough. And I could hit him through iron. Makes a lot of sense. Still, as I said, this weapon, I believe it is the one that uh, sat beside the katana in the seas that the samurai had his weapons in. I think that's what the Wakishaka did, yes, but I'm, well, I'm yes, not sure. and it was mostly used for Sabuku, you know, the honorable suicide. Ah, uh, yes. But some samurais actually used it for two-weapon fighting. Uh, not many. Mm -hmm. um, but I remember one very famous one did. I can't remember his name though. Once defeated a uh, samurai, another samurai with a, a katana made of wood, I th think I remember. A wooden katana? Yep, nice. apart from an oar. You know, just mm -hmm. because, I don't know. Because that person in question like wood? Okay, it's official. The zombies are engaging in cannibalism. They're eating other zombies now. And there's something here. Yeah, it is the chemicals. Okay, let's take a look at it. Um, I should probably not remove that barricade bar. Actually, we need to because that's the only way out. Okay, hold on. Give me a moment. There we go. Okay. Oh, and it was just a walker. Yeah. And they switch around on my weaponry again. Annoying. Alright. Just tell me if you need a break to, uh, yeah, regain focus. Problem is that even when they seem dead, they can always rise again. Yeah, just ignore the guy over there, he can't reach us. By the way, I looked into a bit more of this zombie thing, and yeah, usually you can decapitate them and uh, destroy the brain, and that is it. But yeah. I learned about a movie where every individual part of a zombie still were alive. Yeah, I that, that will be a pretty horrifying scenario. Can you open that thing for me? Yeah, but Thank just you. imagine, if you chop the hand off a zombie, yeah, you deal with the zombie and destroy the brain, but the rest of the body will try and still move towards you along with the hand. Yeah, in that case you need either acid or fire to destroy them completely. Which is... Hmm. Which of course makes things much harder. Excuse me a moment while I just take these. Let me deal with this guy. Bring it forth! Okay, I'll just bring I, this thing in. I swear, I feel like a freaking god. I decide if they live or die, and they usually die. Good. Again. Yeah, well, that's great and all, but... God, could you please help me open that door? Of course, my loyal servant. You will be blessed beyond recognition. I have Molotovs. Just reminding you. I know. And, and I'm picking them up now, so it's really hard for me to waste them. Yeah, but what say you that I further blessed by turning your hair white and giving you six seraphim wings? Okay. And the ability to control time. Okay, this conversation is just getting weird. Please open that door. <laughs> yeah, of course. Alright, where you want it? It was like totally not a problem. Oh wait, he wants it over there. Uh... <laughs> That's it! Yes, you did it! Yes, I did. Of course. And he gives us a Death Star command. Okay, I am so checking this out. Uh, let's go talk to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. What does a Death Star combat do? I am on my way to find out. Huh. The Shredder Moth is basically the... Well, more or less it sounds like the Ripper Moth that I've been carrying around for a while. Hmm. Let us have a look-see. Hmm. Oh. Death Stalker, huh? Yeah, poison, apparently. I see. And I would both require Stingray Tails, Soap, Loader Meat, Bleach, and Orlando. Well, I got most of those, but I don't think I picked up a Stingray Tail. No kidding. I do not even think that we can have found a Stingray around here. No, we need to get out to the sea. You forgot to put his, take his money. Okay. Um, 
You should probably get in here as soon as possible. We have to deliver our meat after all. Yeah, but would you mind if I stop for a moment so I can sell some of the weapons that I do not use anymore? You just do that. Should I just uh, hand in the meat then? Yeah, you just hand in what uh, you are required to hand in. The meat. The meat, yes. Yes. Okay, Doctor, you can have my meat. Very impressive. Thank you. This may furnish a few pieces still missing from the puzzle. Oh, a magnum. Hmm. Hold your horses, I will be right there. And I gotta level up. Uh, let's see, how does that one compare to my gun? Less accuracy, less rate of fire, better reload. You know, I think this one is far superior to my current gun. Hmm. Uh, oh, never mind. I forgot that you are not using firearms. Otherwise, you can get a shotgun over here now. Yeah. But I, I just keep a pistol around for long range combat. That's not worth using my knives on. Oh, it's too dangerous to use my knives on, you know. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Also, I have found out something very disappointing. What? These katanas are not hand forged as you would expect from, well, a katana. I think they are made from a factory because, honestly, the blade breaks far too easily. I mean, a katana is designed to cut through human meat. Yeah, but here's the thing about katanas. You know they're super sharp, right? Yeah. That's their whole advantage, right? Yes. Well, here's the thing, such edge is dull, and that means that the katana quickly loses its edge, literally. So, basically, it is not the metal itself that is getting, well, it is, it is not broken, it is just the sharpness that is dulled down. Exactly. You're not breaking your katana, you're just wearing it down, because, well, it, it doesn't st stay sharp. That's one of the disadvantages. That's why something ah. like a club is a much long, better long term because well you don't have to sharpen it all the time for it to be truly effective. But well, that's not yeah, the end of there. That's sort of By the way, you should probably get over and get your reward. Yeah, hold on. And that was that uh, the guy over in the laboratory. And oh my God, now I hear crawling in the distance. Yeah, ominous. Okay, whatever that is, it sounds very big. Okay, let's let me just uh no that was not the right way in. Oh wrong button, let's see. Oh you have already been here. Hmm. Can I create something from you know what, we should probably stop um, the uh, recording here, because, you know, boring people. Okay, hold on a moment.